What's up guys, Amage is back and it's time for Sherlock Holmes. So Sherry, here he is in his Dracula costume. It's fucking hilarious. Any progress with the case, Mr. Holmes? What case? Fuck off. We take a case. Six evidence updated. What was did in the shadows? The fuck? Okay, let's read the case details. How about that? What was did in the shadows? The reporter's testimony. I've always had a nose for a good story. I was strolling about the cemetery when I saw him. The necromancer. I'm not joking. He raised a woman from the grave and ordered her to attack the two men who were close by. Then they both turned into bats and flew away. Okay. I was too scared to take photographs of them, but I photographed their victims. This will be a front pager. I don't know about this dude. I really don't know about this. The vagrant's testimony. I was having my supper when Johnny came to dig another grave as usual. There was someone else with him too. I must have dozed off for a while, but when I woke up, everything was a blur. Screaming, howling, then flashes of lightning, but no thunder. Some devilry was at work. I came out to see what was happening, and there was this reporter, Leonard or something. He told me that a vampire had killed two people. Mere yards from me. Boy, am I lucky to be alive. And we are the vampire, or what? Suspect notes. Hamil Aki is the brother of the recently deceased Kamil Aki. Okay, Hamil and Kamil, that's awesome. We tried to make him talk, but he's a hard nut to crack. His neighbors saw him leaving his house to put flowers on his sister's grave. They say he turned at dawn looking dirty and tired. He returned at dawn looking dirty and tired. Just in case, we also made him eat garlic. No reaction. Fuck off, guys. Victim profile number one. Uh, John Bowden, 37 year old graveyard keeper. Graveyard Keeper, good game, good game. Currently playing this offline without recording. Awesome game, really. Try it. Blunt force injury to the head, two puncture wounds to the neck. Cause of death, massive blood loss from the carotid artery. Okay, victim two. Said Hafez, I hope I pronounce this correctly. 56 year old, assistant professor at Corona Medical College. Slight cut to the leg, blunt force trauma to the head. Two puncture wounds to the neck, major vessels intact, blood loss minimal, cause of death, intracranial hemorrhage. The report. Two men were found dead near an open grave at the cemetery. Both victims had bite marks on their necks. Victims John Bowden, graveyard keeper, Said Hafez, assistant professor, suspects Hamil Aki, tenor. Kamil Aki, deceased, reportedly a vampire. Witnesses, Leandro Barbieri, reporter, Joe Vagrant. Evidence points to the possible involvement of supernatural forces. Cases pending further investigation. Guys, there's, there's no such thing. Let's head, okay, where's the fucking cemetery? Guys? Where's the fucking cemetery? I think that's a valid question. I mean, we've been there, it's here. Alright, so that basically means we can take the fast travel option. Okay, I have to admit, I like this. At the graveyard, at night. That's actually really fucking cool. Why am I such a thick, big, uh, such a thick fan? Yes, such a big fan of that. There came bats flying out of the grave. Oh, oh, oh! There is, there is, there he is. This place gives me the creeps. What if the vampire comes back? He won't. Don't you worry, buddy. Okay, let's start. 
don't tell Stark what I said or he think I'm a coward. You probably are. So what's the problem? Where do I need to look? Around an empty grave. Alright. Oh. Is this familiar to you? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. Is that so, buddy? Just don't tell Stark what I said or he think I'm a coward. So... I've located the empty grave at the cemetery. Upon examination of the scene, I found... Nothing. Oh, oh, I'm stupid. There are the marks and everything. I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, here's the empty grave, right? Looks good. This is a somewhat neglected and dusty hat. Looks like it. There's blood on the stone. Mm, we're dealing with a very immoderate blood sucker here. <laughs> true, true. All right, what else? The stone is rather unwieldy, so it couldn't be used as a weapon. Someone fell and hit their head on it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, where do you come Someone from again? Some wooden stakes with us, or at least garlic. Oh, John. No garlic for you today. Three. Where's, where's, where's two? Where's evidence number two? There's evidence number two. Empty Looks space. Like a set of surgical instruments. One is missing. Looks like it. The label is illegible. Too bad. Too bad. Why are you <laughs> investigating the fucking grave, dude? God damn, what is it with this, with this? Come on, I really want, oh, there's something, okay. Need to check this out. We've run out of fresh cadavers for the section, you know what to do, Professor Shelley. Okay, so someone dug them up, basically. Is that the gist of it? I think so. It's not very polite to just drop in on someone unannounced. God damn it. Oh, Emperor's Aqueduct. Mmm, nicely roasted. Mmm. Psilocybin mushrooms. These are powerful hallucinogens. I wonder how even the most destitute always somehow manage to scrape together enough for a drink. True. True. All right, and then we still have this. Another hat. An expensive hat with a few gray hairs stuck to the brim. Gray hair. Someone tore their trousers here. Okay. So, what else, guys? What else? Can you satisfy my curiosity? Why should I care about your troubles when you don't care about mine? But I care about yours, you just don't tell me. I never had the patience to find the oldest grave on the island. But this time, I'll stick it out till the end. Ooh. Oh, I missed this. I'm stupid. The blade is bent from the impact. The bleeding wasn't severe, there are just a few drops. Ooh, okay, found something. A bottle of fresh liquid. Let's do the chemical analysis. Uh, 
Right, we need minus three, minus four, and five. All right. All right, this time we made it a lot faster. Like this took me one or two minutes. All right, we got it. Success. It is formerly, which is used for embalming corpses. All right. Very good. Now we can start. We are the Iceman again. <laughs> okay, holy shit. Okay, those are those are a few bubbles. So What are the other options do we have? Alright, way too many definitely. Let's check the casebook. Okay, Professor Shelley wants fresh cadavers. So we found a shovel with a bent blade and a few drops of blood nearby. A set of surgical instruments, one is missing, the vagrant's supper, a dirty hat near bloodstained stone, a pool of blood nearby, an expensive hat with a few grey hairs and a piece of torn fabric on a root. Okay. So I'm leaving his house to put flowers on his sister's grave, okay. Alright, there was a camera at work. Alright, so... I think the camera dude was somewhere, so he came with this. So there's a dude with a hat, definitely. Oh. Okay, no, I don't know this yet. Actually. Okay, no, I can I cannot tell so far. Okay, let's let's look at this. Okay, there's a dude as well. What was here? The shovel. The fuck? Okay, no, no idea so far. Alright, there it was with the flowers. Those are flowers, right? Are those supposed to be flowers? I really hope so. I don't think so. It looks like a bunch of condoms, actually. Yeah, there was no vampire at work. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Shit, now I need to know which of the three dudes really did this. How am I supposed to know that? This is ridiculous. So, okay, so I guess whoever took the knife out of here is the one who was doing the stabbing wounds. Alright, so there's the one without head. The bold one, right? Or is there... Oh, there's someone else. he bring a shovel and hit those guys? Oh wait, this is the stabby stabby one. So I assume he did the stabby stabbies. I don't know why. The bold dude did this.
he did the stabby stabby work. I have no fucking idea. The brother of the deceased became furious That's true. when he caught the anatomist exhuming his sister's body. He killed him with a shovel. The graveyard keeper took to his heels, but didn't get far. He fell, hitting his head on a stone, which rendered him unconscious. With the murderer gone, the reporter who was hiding punctured the neck of the first victim to imitate a bite. But when he did the same to the second victim, he killed an unconscious man. So we have two murders and two murderers, but no vampires. Vampires are not so scary when you have grave robbers and journalists running around. That's kind of true. Okay. So... What I really don't like about these cases is... Or about this whole reconstructing the case. You don't know who's who. Like, I was guessing around it was my second, third try to validate. So... That was... I don't know. That was kind of annoying to be honest. But yeah. In the end, we made it. All is good, all is well. What's up, dude? Constable Stark, do you believe in vampires? Hey? What do vampires have to do with anything? Oh, that's exactly what I thought while looking into the murder. Yeah, one standing cemetery. in front of you. The primary suspect is indeed the murderer, but he's not the only one. The reporter, who so easily fooled everyone with his vampire stories, killed the other victim. But why would he do that? He believed the unconscious man to be dead, and decided to concoct a thrilling story for his readers. Oh, thank you, Mr. Holmes. I'll have the conniving little scrub taken in immediately. There's only one case left. Don't let me stop you. There's only one case left. Let's do that one right away. The scapegoat. New location, forest ruins. Okay, let's check the scapegoat case. The scapegoat. All right, what do we have here? Blackbird's testimony. We gather to perform a ritual which would make man desire us above all else. We were dancing when we noticed someone spying on us from the bushes. It was the priest, of course. Who else? I ordered the others to get him drunk. No one must witness our ritual while sober because it insults the god of rapture. Rapture. I think of Bioshock when I hear rapture. Oh, about the goat, it was Lion's responsibility to bring it to the ruins. Red Lion. Hold on, what the fuck are those names? Red Lion's testimony. The woman in the Red Lion mask has a large bruise on her side. I broke an amphora with very expensive wine because of the goat. He was probably a rabbit, but should have known better than to steal this crazy animal. I've had enough. This is the last time I take part in these rituals. I already have three lovers. That's more than enough. The green ox's testimony. The woman in the green ox mask is limping. I couldn't steal the goat even if I wanted to. I sprained my ankle during the dance. It was the priest who brought us the goat. He may be all holier than though now, but he clearly wanted to join our bachanalia. I have no idea how to pronounce this. The priest's testimony. The priest is still tipsy. I came to the ruins to save these lost souls and stop the abhorrent ritual. I found them dancing and I hid in the bushes only to gather courage, mind you. I didn't see any goats. Then one of them stumbled. I gasped and they noticed me. The one who fell tied me up and the other in a lion mask forced me to drink wine. I don't know where the third woman was, but when they stopped tormenting me, the goat had appeared. Victim's testimony. Wooly was the best goat I've ever owned. Very fertile. He charged at anything red, but otherwise he was as calm as a cat. I was inside when he was stolen. By the time I ran out, they were gone. But I saw that the thief was wearing a mask. I must know who did it. Please put Mr. Placido onto this. He busted my neighbor for running a gambling den, but with a single look at his clothes. I'm sure he will solve this in a jiffy. Alright, four persons were arrested for theft, property damage and debauchery. The four compromi comprised of three women dressed in robes and animal masks and a priest. The suspects have been charged with stealing and slaughtering a goat in the forest ruins to the west of the cemetery. 
For this cruel act, they will be prosecuted accordingly, however, the victim has requested to specifically identify who stole this coat. The testimonies of all parties involved are attached to the case. Okay, we'll have to reread these, definitely. Ah, forest ruins to the west of. Okay, I need to go all the way over there. Holy shit. Alright, see you over there. Alright, we're almost there. They really performed a ritual all the way out here. Holy freaking hell. The hoof prints end in deep furrows. The animal was resisting. Looks like it. What a waste. Ah, that's the one who broke the wine bottle. Alright. Okay, we can... Okay, this time we should be able to identify them on the masks, which makes it a whole lot easier, I guess. But I just think back, so I should have... In the beginning, the very first image, I saw the one with the camera. I could have identified who's who. If I would have paid attention. My gut tells me some dark magic happened here. <laughs> You're fucking stupid. The rope is soaked with wine. Looks like it. Oh, I didn't see you. You weren't there a second ago. You haven't had your lunch yet. This one's bad. Multiple bare footprints. I should examine them more closely. Multiple bare footprints. I should examine them more closely. Multiple bare footprints. I should the examine them more closely. The fuck do you want from me? Yes, then do so. This is really Someone annoying. stumbled on a stone and fell to the ground. That I have to pin this to do this is really annoying. Ooh. The priest said that he came here to stop the ritual. Did you really, father? Did you really, father? I don't the said believe. That he came here to stop the ritual. Did you really, father? I don't believe this a second long. So holy shit. All right. Let's move on. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Well, now I know why this dude asked me if I had lunch already. This is disgusting. I'm just trying to get a good view for thumbnail possible. <laughs> Possibly. Oh, I have to be careful with thumbnails like this. I guess. The goat was torn to pieces. Ugh. Savagery. YouTube already took a video down for the thumbnail. Like they were not happy with the thumbnail. Let's let's say it like this. All right. This this should be fairly easy actually. Let's hope so at least. So this is the fucking ritual. Got it. So, let's see. Okay, someone's buying from us in the bushes. This was the fucking priest. Oh yeah, now I need to know who... Okay, who did this? The priest said this, I guess. The one who fell tied me up and the other in a lime mask forced me to drink wine. This- oh. Oh, wait a second. Fuck. I can- I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I think it was the fucking ox. I was right before. I, for some reason, I didn't think of changing this one image. 
Fuck. There was the ox. The ox f was the one who fell. And then the ox is the one who tied him up. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. When the ox tied her up, the bird brought the fucking yes goat because she said the bird stole the goat. Bird should have known better. Okay, but now, please, pretty You're please. Not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. But the only thing I still don't know is who. How am I supposed to know? Who grabbed him from the bushes? Seriously. So we have three lusty women engaged in a ritual. They're drinking and dancing when suddenly they hear a noise from the bushes. Their ritual seems to be working. There's a man they can get drunk already. While two of them are busy with the priest, the third one leaves. She is the one who stole the goat and brought it to the ritual. The poor animal smells trouble and charges at the drunken woman with the amphora. Still, he couldn't break free and at the end was brutally torn apart and eaten alive. Well, they attracted the attention of men. The police, at least. Yeah. True. True. Alright. Nice. We got our... Solution. I can't wait to get back to the station away from this smell. Oh, I bet, dude, I bet. <sighs> Holy shit, I'm running around below the fucking map. And now I'm completely stuck. Ugh, holy shit, help me! Oh. How did I do that? Alright, seems like it doesn't help. Alright, that looks way better. I just read the tip, if you're short on money you can rent clothes instead of buying them. I... there was like, I did uh, what four cases and there wasn't one where I had to... Um, change into different clothes, everything was just like... gathering information. Mr. Holmes, I have great news. Our recent accomplishments have earned me a promotion. Fuck Sergeant you. Stark. It has a nice ring to it, hasn't it? Our you accomplishments? Our accomplishments? Of all the nerve, I don't recall you doing very much. I solved all the cases. Come, come, Mr. Holmes. I didn't mean to belittle your contribution. After all, legwork is just as important as paperwork. And what about the brain work? Also very important. Don't get me wrong, your assistance was most valuable. Anyway, I'll be moving back to the office space. My days at this blasted desk are almost over. I won't be scapegoated now. Good for you, I suppose. Uh, speaking of scapegoats, I've solved the last case on the board. The goat was stolen by the lady in the blackbird mask. As if that makes any difference, judging by the atrocity I witnessed at the crime scene. Yes, I heard about that one. The things women get up to these days. Ugh. Well, I'm glad to have been of service. Now I have other matters to attend to. Uh, Mr. Holmes, if I may be so bold as to make one last request. 
Do you remember that I told you that our chief inspector has been missing for a few months now? My current task is to establish his fate. I've tried to make sense of his last case, but it's a convoluted mess. I would really appreciate your help. Why don't you do it yourself? No, all right, I'll help. Fine. I want you to do it. Intrigued. Thank you awfully, Mr. Holmes. Tell me everything you know. Well, I don't know much. Just that it's connected to a gang called the Hive. Placido has been after their leader, the Hive Master, for years. But otherwise, I can't make head nor tail of it. Here, take the key to Placido's office. You might find some leads in there. So is it Chief Inspector Placido who has vanished? From what I've gathered, he was a good detective. Ain't that the truth? He was solving cases like shelling peas. Without him, things have gone downhill. He was a crotchety sort, always grumbling, fussing, taking his snuff by the handful, but I, for one, miss the old boy. Very well. I'll see what I can find out. One thing is certain. It's a dangerous business. Be careful, Mr. Holmes. Sure. The scapegoat case complete. New case. Plan B. So where's this fucking office? I am supposed to check Placido's office. His evidence room? Chief Inspector Placido. I can almost picture you as an inspector, Sherlock. You'd lie on his sofa all day and still solve more cases than the rest of the police. <laughs> Probably. Chief Constable's message. We've been through this before and you know well that I cannot allow it. You are an indispensable asset to this department, Placido. Sorry, but your retirement is out of the question. We need you now more than ever. This city needs you. Think about it, Chief Constable Donovan. Okay, is it possible that he just said fuck it and left? Hive Master. Crime Lords just love catching monikers. The files are gone, that's odd. It is indeed. Why are all the files gone? Seriously. <laughs> Alright, so he took his revolver. Lots of snuff. Strong stuff. Corona Chronicle, Hive Gang Police Raid, is the Hive Master dead? For Police Inspector Luciano Placido, the night of May 13 ended in gunshots, a blazing fire, lost comrades and the label of hero. After an investigation lasting several years, Inspector Placido led his squad on a raid to shut down the operations of the infamous Hive Master and his crime syndicate The Hive. The largest of the gang's warehouses, also dubbed B Yards, was raided in Miner's End. Although the operation was thoroughly planned, the police encountered serious opposition and were outnumbered. The gang set the warehouse on fire, ambushed the officers in and engaged them in a gunfight. We have received information from several sources that Inspector Placido managed to corner the Hive Master, the gang leader subsequently perishing in a failed attempt to escape from the burning warehouse. As a result of the operation, Placido was promoted to the position of Chief Inspector. We congratulate the hero and are already preparing an ex exclusive interview with the governor that will include an official statement on the operation. Alright. Why can't I look at this empty gun case? No. Six shot cylinder, honorary weapon. Right. I can almost picture you as an inspector, Sherlock. You'd lie on his sofa all day and still solve cases. Actually, I guess the the that's it. <laughs> all right. With the evidence pinned, I find more stuff. Fingerprints, loose frame, stack of books, research papers, and adventure novels, old case files. 
Thick dust hasn't been open for years. New safe hasn't been used. Family fixed, nothing behind it. All right. So it means we check the frame. Oh, look at that. There are the case files. These look like Posito's notes on the Hive Master. The last page reads: Beatrice Queen, the City Hall record said minus end. Same year, same district as the gunfight. Was he right under my nose all along? Minus end 1877, yeah. City Hall. A collection of local and nationwide newspaper articles all mention the Hive and Hive Master and are organized chronologically. Chief Inspector Placido had been collecting information on this gang for years. Exclusive new crime syndicate sweeping Cordona. Buzz off, elusive weapon smugglers, the Hive supply. Irish nationalists. Hive Master Mystery. There's nothing in 77 for some reason. Police corruption, blah blah blah. Why is there nothing in 77? That's weird because the other thing said 77. Uh, now, now that is odd to say the least. To How say the very it? least. It will bring us luck. You'll see. Good lord, you can't be serious. Nice. Always play it by ear, pal. <laughs> ear in a jar. Okay. Why did I listen to him and took the fucking ear? Seriously. I've taken the ear. Irresistible souvenir. Notes on the Hive Master. And collection of audio here. 1877. There's no 1877 here. That's weird. That's really weird. Alright, so we basically need to get to minus end. It was up here somewhere, right? No? There's minus end. Oh, shit, minus end is rather big. Does it look remotely familiar to you? Should it? New case! Silence is golden! The fuck? Corona stories, alright. I walked through the city hall squares, unleashed an old memory. Alright, not, not just now. So, am I now in city hall? Yes, okay. Are you lost, sir? Not at all, I'm right where I need to be. I'm Sherlock Holmes, by the way. Ursula Oni, the Chief Archivist. How can I help you exactly? I need to take a look at the history of Cordona and its islanders to retrieve some, hopefully, useful information. Your brother Mycroft told me that you were direct, and now that we've met, I can see that is true. Someone in our family has to balance the evasive nature of my brother. Well, may I use the city archives? You may, of course. But in return, perhaps dinner? That's a high price to pay for looking at your archives. <laughs> <laughs> I was teasing you. Pay no attention to me. <laughs> he is more than direct. Curious, Holy how shit. Did Mycroft recruit you? I doubt you're a field agent. I imagine you work with intelligence. That's correct. Your brother noticed me when I tracked down a spy at the archives. That's how our cooperation began. And you? Did Mycroft force you into this? Not at all. We simply have a mutual interest in someone. Or something. Of course. A fruitful and willing collaboration, I'm sure. Well, I'm his younger brother. I have to accept the consequences of being a close relative of an official figure. I suppose, in a way, we are colleagues, Mr. Holmes. In the remotest way possible, Miss Oni. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Uh, Chief Archivist. Okay, nope. Nope. Where are the fucking archives? Where are the fucking archives? Archive? Archive! Oh! <laughs> I'll be right here. I bet. I bet. Alright. So, minus and... Oh, 
Wrong case is selected. Like, fuck off. Period in the 1800s and minus end. Let's go. Queen Beatrice, business entity registered in 1877, documents filed for closure in January 1880. Property registered in the name Warehouse in minus end. Sold in February, distillery in minus end shut down, villa and grand Surrey, auction of warehouse in minus end currently for sale. Located on Clay Street by Stephenson's Bridge to Silvertown. Got it. I guess we need to go to the warehouse. Clay Street, located on Clay Street. Straight by Stephenson's Bridge to Silverton. Clay Street. There it is. Clearing out on the Master's orders. Cornelia said he knows what he looks like, but he's full of it. Who saw the Hive Master? Burnt face? I don't know. Brother of the governor. Clearing out on high. So we have never seen him. Context for proxies and type messages. From what I heard, the rank and file of the hive don't know what their boss looks like. Apparently they've never seen the hive master in person. So this should be the warehouse actually, right? Yeah, Queen's Warehouse. There are some chaps inside and they're armed. Be careful, Sherry. No problem. We've trained for this. Hey, coming. This is Hive territory. Shoot him, boys. Crime for you until next month. Nice. New entry. Ah, I killed one. I'm sorry. There's a look in his eye when he takes a fatal shot. It scares me. Holy shit, dude. Do I see somewhere what's his current thinking of me? I mean. Seriously? Well, oh, anyway. Keys to the warehouse. Yes, nice. Alright. Let's go. So I guess we will find the chief here. Smells of burnt paper. Just another day in a smuggler's office. Burn the documents, prepare the goods, I will deal with the apiary, the shipment will be the last. If you are on the ship, you will be taken care of. If not, you are on your own. Alright. Understandable. Hmm. Everything knits together. Really, dude? Really? <laughs> I can't spare any boys, Kel. Too busy wrapping up, same as you. The boss has gone soft. Shutting down when we have the island in our pockets makes no sense to me. And what's with the letters? He never contacted us directly before. I'd be a fool to cross him, but I sure as hell am not leaving. There are still easy pickings to be had here, hive or no hive. Well, 
I guess so. Someone's been burning papers, I see. Alright, let's restore them. Alright, so I want to reduce both of them once, basically. Add them together and then I want this and change the operator so I have I want to change the operators <laughs> I have minus four and then I add those together and then I have it that was the quickest I ever did it holy shit that's nice I managed to restore some fragments. Beeswax to Valen, 50 crates of yarn to Dublin, of honeycombs to Tessalo. Alright. What a convenient way to pull the wool over the eyes of the customs house. It definitely is. It definitely is. All right. There isn't any more here. Smells of burnt paper. Just another day in a smuggler's office. May I ask for your assistance? A gentleman deserves an open hand. People told me that I can find the apiary to the west of Wigan Street and north of Minus End. They also want me to stay away. Wigan Street. Ooh. Over there. Okay. Nice. It looks as though someone or something has escaped. A statue of a buckled cage inside a city full of criminals. Let's take a closer look, Sherry. Silver Mines Monument, new case for the birds. A cage inside a city full of criminals. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Miners cannery it made of silver. A silver statue of a for the ones who gave their lives in the silver mines for the safety and prosperity of Miners End, 1830. Huh. The lattice work was bent a long time ago. A gloomy picture, but quite poetic. A symbol of safety and prosperity has vanished from Miner's End and now only the cage is left to remind the residents of their past glory. The canary was stolen a long time ago. There's no hope in finding it now, but perhaps someone might know at least something about it. Okay, this is again here. <laughs> okay, something else. We're not done with this. We should ask the people around here. This is the street. Are you really pissing in there? Dude, seriously? To the west of Wigan Street and Miner's End. Okay, is it over there? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, that looks, that looks good. The apiary. Get off me. Sherry, don't even think about breeding these nasty things. Ugh. Thanks, John. You have my full 
full support here. Sir, I'm looking for a man who goes by the name of Hive Master. Uh huh. Hiding the missing ear. Snuff taker. Ooh, he's the fucking hive master. Red bombs from bee stings. And the fucking special revolver, right? Because the chief is the hive master, I guess. Six shot revolver. The sulky grouchy man in his 50s is clearly unhappy with my intrusion. He has some grated tobacco on his gloves and bee stings on his hands. Apparently he's been tending to the bees at the apiary for a while now. He's hiding a missing ear and carrying Placido's revolver. The beekeeper is none other than Chief Inspector Placido, using the Hive Master's fearsome reputation to keep people away. I actually guess so, because they said that he never contacted them directly and now he does, and he asked them basically to leave. And they were wondering about it. Uh, the beekeeper must be none other than those. I think it's... 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 Placido. It has to be. It has to be. Chief Inspector Placido. And what makes you think that? Why, you're missing ear, amongst other things. You need a larger hat. I've been investigating your last case on behalf of Sergeant Stark. And now I think I understand what happened to the Hive Master. Humor me. Ooh. You invented him? Double life. I'm. I'm. I don't think it's the same person. I really don't think it's the same person. Because he changed his behavior. Or. Oh, oh, I don't think he killed him. Could he have killed him? He killed you him. You killed him, didn't you? Huh. You're sharp, son. I'd give you that. But why? Everyone deserves a trial. Wasn't my choice. He and his thugs attacked me when I went to arrest them. It was a kill or be killed kind of situation. Turned out for the best. Otherwise though. his behavior wouldn't have changed. Dead, Could be the only his solution. Soul knows what the hive master looks like. His own gang scared stiff of him. So you assumed his place to dismantle this criminal enterprise from within. Damn right I did. And after I'm done, I'm not planning to go back. I've had enough of this rotten nest of corruption. But it just won't leave me alone, will it? First, they dismiss my retirement requests, and now they send a sleuth after me. It's not like that. I tell you what it's like, son. This is not the first case you've worked on for Stark, huh? That amateur promoted to a sergeant for his merits? I don't think so. You're not an officer. But from what I can see, you are much brighter than the lot of them. So what's your stake in this? You some sort of consulting detective? Hmm, yes. I suppose you could call me that. My name is Sherlock Holmes, at your service. Then do me a service, Mr. Holmes. Drop this case and don't tell anyone you saw me here. Let me enjoy my retirement in peace. He deserved it. I <laughs> have you here? <laughs> I have to ask, why are you so fascinated with beekeeping? I just want a quiet life, away from the hustle and bustle. Watching the little workers like I once watched the criminal world of Cordona. Yes, it suits me just fine. I, um... I have your ear. <laughs> Give it to me now. Alright, but let's make it a fair exchange, shall we? Holy shit, the fuck? Do I want beehives or do I want this revolver? What can I do with beehives? I'm not beekeeping. His revolver would be cool, but does it help me? Not really. I guess. I want a few beehives, you know, just just for the fun of it. I want a few beehives in return. I have space in my garden. Who knows? Perhaps someday I might try my hand at beekeeping too. <laughs> Deal. Now go. 
I'll consider your request, sir. By the way, I must talk to Sergeant Stark. Tell him I died a hero. Or a coward. I don't care. As long as they leave me alone. Really? Sherry? Beehives? How old are you? 130? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> just, just to fuck with you, John. Seriously. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Spectre Placido was very happy to have his embalmed deer back. Even if he didn't show it, I wonder what he will do with it. That's freaking awesome, actually. Alright. Alright, let's head back to Mr. Stark. This fucking piece of shit who didn't, who doesn't do any work himself. I hate bees. Like, I know they're really, really important for us. But, personally, I hate them. I, I, I'm sorry, but... I don't mind them as long as they leave me alone. But, yeah. I, as soon as one comes near me, I mean... Bees are fine to an extent. Bumblebees as well, but go away with fucking wasps and those pieces of shit. Like seriously. They can burn in hell where they belong. Any news, Mr. Holmes? Chief he deserves his retirement. Dead. I was unable to find his body, but the evidence is unequivocal. He's gone. I suppose I expected as much, but still it doesn't make it any easier. Placido was a good man. You would have liked him if you'd met him. Yes, it's, uh, it's a pity. I'm sure I would. In any case, no matter how bad, the truth is better than uncertainty. Please, take this as a token of gratitude. You've done us all a great service. Thanks again for your help. Good luck, Mr. Holmes. The man deserves to be left True wardrobe alone. items acquired. Nice. And then the new entry in John's diary. Placido could still do a lot of good way he to return to the police, but the man deserved rest. Sherlock respected that. Yes. Alright, so we have for the birds. So we have a lot of few Cardona stories. But for now, the side cases are done. I might try my hand at a Cardona story rather soon. But for now I think I want to continue with the main story, but I might I might look at I don't know. We did now a full episode only of side quests. I think the last one as well. In the next one I will continue the main story because I'm really sorry, but I really like this the side story stuff. But we need to to finish some main stories as well. Yeah, we did the final three side stories in the police department here. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did as well in the next episode. I promise we continue with the main story, Shattered Memory. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and then I will see you in the next video. See ya.